So, hello everyone. Today we are going to be solving in the lab CSRF where token is not tied to user session. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up this lab. So basically what our objective in this lab is that this lab is vulnerable to CSRF attack and that to the email change functionality and it uses token to prevent CSRF attack. But they haven't integrated into the site's session handling system. Okay, so basically what that means is that that token is not corresponding to a particular session. And what that particular session, what I mean is for that particular user. So what I mean to say is that a CSRF token is valid for any user, whatever it's been made. Okay, so they are indeed using a token which would be unpredictable. But if I have two accounts and I am already in the system, then I can have a token already. Okay, uh, so... In this lab, use the exploit server that creates a CSRF attack to change the viewer's email address. To solve it, we just need to host an HTML page with a CSRF attack. That's all. So let's log in currently with the username Wiener and Peter. And once I'm in, you can see this is how uh, this looks like. This is the functionality of my account wherein you can see the email. And you have an email change functionality. So let me intercept this by Burp Suite. And let me change the email to a at the red gmail.com. If I update this, you can see the new updated email is going to come up over here. As you can see. Now let's just look into the internals of how that request looks. So the request looks something like this. Let's say now I change it to bb at the red gmail.com. If I update the email, this is how the request would look like. Okay. So uh, this is the request. Uh, it, as you can see, it has changed to BBB. So whatever I change over here is end gonna go and end up changing the email in the database or in the website, all right? And this is for the Wiener user, VR Wiener, okay? And as you can see, if I had to make a CSRF attack, which is cursor request forgery, then what I gonna do is that if I change, I need something predictable. I need everything predictable in my request. And the CSRF value, I cannot predict. So let's say I, as a person who I want to change this to, as an attacker, I can change this to uh, dddd at the rate gmail.com. But the problem is I can't predict this CSRF value. So I won't be able to craft a CSRF attack. All right, so now let's see this if this works or not. It says it says invalid CSRF token. Okay, basically this also means that one token on, can only be used once. Even that is another added protection, security protection over here. Okay, uh, so now we know two things. First is that without CSRF token, we cannot craft a CSRF attack. Second is this token is only being used once. So even if I, after one use, it will just say invalid CSRF token. Okay, so now let's um, try doing the same thing, but let's not reuse, let's not use the token at all. So for example, if I send this request, I'm gonna go into proxy and go and intercept this. And if I'm gonna update an email, so this is the request, but I would drop this. Basically when I say drop, I am not forwarding the request. And now what I have with me is a CSRF token, which is unused. Okay, so I have an extra CSRF token, which is absolutely unused. And now I can use this CSRF token and to anyone, for anyone. I can use this for anyone, right? It is my wish. As a demo, I'll just do this demo, even though it's not required, but let me quickly do this. Now I'm gonna go to Carlos. I'll quickly log in as Carlos. Okay. Now I'm in Carlos account. And inside Carlos account also, I'm gonna go and change the email, let's say to this thing, this value. Okay. So update email. Here is Carlos update email change. Okay, so now if we see this won't work invalid because I already used this token to change it to this AS. But now if I let's say it changes to BBBB and if I send this again, it won't work. But this single time token which we saved, if we copy this and use it, this was our unused token. All right, and this was our unused token. If I use this and forward this, then you can see it was actually, it went ahead and I was able to change the email address. Okay, hence proved that if we have that uh, CSRF token with us, that is unused, we can use it to craft it for another people to change their 
email addresses. Okay, if I now if I change it to ccc at the gmail.com and I'm gonna go and intercept this and I'm gonna send this a repeater and I'm gonna drop this request as in to get a unused CSRF token. All right, so as you can see HDB history, I don't think I sent this, but let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna craft a CSRF for us. So for tell, there are two types of users. One is pro without, without professional. So two types of, so for the ones with the professional, you can go over here, generate a CSRF POC, just copy this value and you're done. That's all. For the ones who do not have this, let's follow along with me. Let's go over here. This is the CSRF page. Let's copy our sample, simple body input. Okay, let's paste it here. And let's make changes. So a few changes would be in the request itself, you can see there are two parameters and two values. So let's uh, also have another input. Okay, so one name is email, the other name would be CSRF. And one value is whatever value we wanna keep. So let's say if I keep it CCC, or let's say I keep it, uh, let's say, ggg at the rate gmail.com and for the value of csrf token i'm gonna use the unused value because if i keep the us value then it will give me that error if you remember okay so now i have email i have csrf value okay both are done and now i'm gonna change the url and for that you can go ahead and the copy just url and once you have copied the url and you can paste it now we are ready and done we have our body everything is ready okay so I have now copied this and I'm gonna go back and I'm go, going to the exploit server. And in here I'm gonna go and I'm gonna paste this. Okay, and now I'm gonna store this. So basically whenever the attacker clicks on this, this single time CSRF token would work. So even I can click view explorer and it will change my email also and show it to you guys. Uh, but I just showed you in that same thing, right? That this is just basically gonna send a request only. So it's the same value exactly, this is the very same thing. It's just a HTML page, so it's gonna send a request, that's all. Now I'm gonna store it again, just in case it didn't store properly. I'm gonna deliver this to the victim. So once I've delivered it, as you can see, we have congratulations, we have solved the lab. And for one more time, if you just wanted to see a demo, I'll again show the demo. Rather than CCC, let me change it to any value. Let me intercept it. Let me update it. Let me get that single time unused CSRF token. I'll drop this. Okay. One second, how did I get the same token? Let me refresh this once. Yep, now I'm gonna go and try and updating the email. So as you can see, this is the news token. Okay, this is the news token, okay. And our exploit, which was there. We are again in the exploit server. See, if I click on this view exploit, that means I'll basically I'm opening this page up. It won't change my email. It won't. It will just say invalid CSRF token. But if I change it to the new token, a news token, and let's change the value from GGG to something which we'll remember. Let's say this is it. And basically, see, I'm basically when I click view exploit, basically it means opening this HTML page. And as you can see, it's just sending. It is just, uh, okay, leave this. Um, as you can see, it is just sending this request. See, see, it's just sending the request. That's all it's doing. It's just sending the CSRF token and this request, ZZZ, is all what is gonna, what's happening. And once that is done, as you can see, it changes to ZZZZ. That's all. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you next time.